There's the old hag, Moll Brown. Look, see, just past. I wish the ugly, sly old witch would tumble over in the ditch. I wouldn't pull her out, not very fast. No, no, I don't think she's a bit belied. No, she's a witch. I, Molly's evil eyed. For I do know a many a weathering blight, a cast on folk by Molly's muttered spite. She did, one time, a dreadful deal of harm to Varmer Gruff's folk down at Lower Farm. For there, one day, they happened to offend her, and not a little to their sorrow, because they wouldn't gee or lend her some at she come to bag or borrow. And so, they soon begun to find that she'd a gone and left behind her evil wish that had such power that she did make their milk and ale turn sour and had all the eggs their fowls did lay. They couldn't fetch the butter in the churn and all the cheese began to turn all back again to curds and whey. The little pigs, a running with the zowl, did thicken somehow, nobody knowed how, and fall and turn their snouts toward the sky, and only gay one little grunt and die. And all the little ducks and chicken were death struck out in yard a picking their bits of food, and fell upon their head, and flapped their little wings, and dropped down dead. They couldn't fat the calves, they wouldn't thrive, they couldn't save their lambs alive. Their sheep were all a colt, or gave no wool. Their horses fell away to skin and bones, and got so weak they couldn't pull a half a peck of stones. The dog got dead alive and drowsy, the cat fell sick and wouldn't mousy, and every time the folk went up to bed, they were a hagrod till they were half dead. They used to keep her out of house, tis true, and nailing up at door a horse's shoe. And I've a heard the farmer's wife did try to dock a needle or a pin, and drew her old hard withered skin, and draw her blood a come in by. But she could never fetch a drap, for pins would ply, and needles snap again her skin. And that in course did make the hag bewitch and worse.